Hey everyone, we've gathered around to make yet another goaded tier list. This time we're going to be ranking different bottled water on our tier list to determine which one is the best of the best. As a master drinker of liquids, I can assure you all that you will be given the best of the best regarding opinions. I bet you you love drinking liquids, Donald. Joe, stop being weird and let's start this list. Up first we got Arrowhead water and I'm going to be honest, gentlemen. It's not bad, but it's not great, it's good. So I think we have a B tier in our hands here. I uh, have to agree with this decision. I have nothing bad, but nothing great to say about Arrowhead water, honestly. Sounds great then. We'll move on to Poland Springs water, and I have never had this water. This feels like some Polish exclusive thing, honestly. I've had it, but it's not as good as Arrowhead and definitely not as good as life water. Yeah, Barack, I can't lie to you. The German within me wants to rank this Poland water low. I feel like that's a bit racist, but I'm gonna listen to you both and put it at C tier. Up next, though, we have a pretty good brand here. I like it a lot. I am a big fan of Life Water. I like the water, but that shape is too phallic. I do not enjoy that cylinder shape entering my mouth. It seems to me that you like that shit, Barack. On Baby Donald, I bet Barack likes some big and round wee-wee shaped objects, don't you? Good one, Joey. Okay, what the hell are you guys like sucking the whole bottle to drink it? The water is good though, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you guys enjoy drinking it and we'll have some if it's there, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so basically you guys just want to place it lower just because of the shape and how you both weirdly suck the whole bottle instead of just drinking it like a normal person. Yeah. yeah. Why the hell do I talk to you two? I'll place it in A tier then. Anyways, we got Nestle water and I actually like this one too, but again, it's not as good as Life Water, so I'm placing it at B tier. I still don't like Life Water being that high, but I agree. Okay, so we're moving on to Niagara Water and... I have to stop you here, Barack. This is Niagara Water. This is not American. Fuck the Canadians in this water. What did the Canadians ever do to you, Donnie? I just don't like the way they look, so I say we make this water sea tier. God damn it, Donald. I just want you to know it was going there before you even said anything. I was not influenced by you at all. Now, I got a controversial one here, fellas. I'm putting Fiji Water at sea tier. They are scamming the shit out of you, America. I love Fiji water. What the hell are you on about Barack? Nah, he's spitting right now, Donald. A little lesson from Biden University for you all. Better not send any kids to that place. Ignoring that, did you all know that the Cleveland Water Department ran tests comparing a bottle of Fiji water to Cleveland tap water and some other national bottled brands? Fiji water reportedly contained 6.31 micrograms of arsenic per liter, whereas the tap water of Cleveland contained none. How's that for you, Donald? You were killing yourself drinking that. God, imagine having worse water than Cleveland. I'm no longer drinking that garbage brand. Exactly. Thank you, Joey, for the not so fun fact. And as for the next one on the tier list, I still like life water more, so I'm putting smart water at B tier. I agree, nothing smart about that water, to be honest. The fuck does that even mean, Joey? Just ignore him, Donald, because we have another A tier in here joining us, and that's Evian water. Quite honestly, I want to put this in S, but since there's such a small amount, I feel like it should be exclusive. Agreed. Evian water makes me feel like I'm climbing a mountain, and I quite like that. How about you actually climb off the chair and get some exercise, Donald? Joey, you shouldn't fat shame. It's not nice to make fun of someone's weight, you sleepy fuck. No, I wasn't making a joke. I am genuinely concerned about your health. Guys, please, we're almost at the end. Anyways, I have Dasani at D tier because that shit is absolute garbage. But I really like Dasani. I think it is overhated. Of course Joe would drink Dasani. God, that shit tastes like dirt water. Yeah, Joe, that shit is kind of garbage. I think I would rather die of dehydration than ever drink Dasani. Come on, guys, you don't really mean all that. No, I think we genuinely do mean that. If I was dying of thirst in the Sahara Desert and had the choice between RC Cola and Dasani, I would still choose the RC Cola even if I knew it was actively dehydrating me. Joey, we are not joking. I'm with Donald here. I'd rather go full Bear grills and drink my piss than have a drop of Dasani. Fine, you guys are just being bullies. More Dasani for me. Please keep every single bottle, dude. Okay, next we have Aquafina at A tier. Ooh, excellent choice here, Barack. Okay, now you guys are fucking with me. No way can you guys tell me Aquafina is in A tier. Ain't no fucking way. Joe, what's the matter? That is a completely great and logical take. Yeah, Joey, what's wrong with Aquafina? Nothing is wrong with it. It just feels like you guys are gaslighting me because there's no way this is true. How can Aquafina be so high, but Dasani is so low? You're in denial, Joe Bag. Your taste buds are just inferior. Yeah, Joester, you're just butt hurt right now. Anyways, we have Ice Mountain at S tier to end off the list. The flavor is just unmatched. Once again, Barack has struck gold instead of Holmes with his drones. 
I really enjoy the rich flavor that emanates from Ice Mountain. I have a full fridge of them. Okay, now what the f***? Hello, all. As everyone can see by the title, we are continuing my epic and amazing tier lists with a Mountain Dew flavor one. Before any of that, I'd like to thank at the John Apocalypse for suggesting this idea because I personally think I am the biggest Mountain Dew expert we have. The only Dew you're an expert of is doing absolutely nothing in Office Sleepy Joe. Yeah, but I wasn't sleeping when it came to these lists. And let's be honest, you're just mad because we didn't do a soda tier list in general, but we'll get to that eventually, Donald. Your Diet Cokes will not be disrespected, probably. Joey, I for one am excited for this list as an average fan of the Dew. I love me some Major Melon. Barry, you gotta wait for that placement, but I can assure you all I drink the Dew as water because that's how much I like it. Bet that piss is the darkest yellow of the world. On God, it's almost orange. Anyways, let's get started with the list, and I have original Mountain Dew and C tier. It's a solid selection, but trust me, guys, the flavored stuff is so much better. I don't know, Joey. C feels kind of low, like as if you're disrespecting the dew. Let me cook once again. Berry C tier is not bad. It is simply average, and I believe out of all these flavors that the OG Mountain Dew belongs here. As for the next entry, we have Livewire, and I'm putting this as our first A tier entry. It's a bit slept on, but I personally enjoy it. Hilarious hearing you talk about something being slept on, Joe, considering all you do is sleep. The only thing I sleep on is a bed, Donnie. Chew on that. We do have another A tier, and that is Major Melon. It's a little newer, but I love me some melon, guys. I do like melon, and this is one of the better, newer flavors, in my opinion. I love melons, guys. I am a huge fan of big ol' melons. In fact, I think I may be the biggest fan of melons that I know of. Right, Donald. The flavor melon has is great. Up next, we got Diet Mountain Dew, and out of all the flavors, this fits into the D tier the best because it's good for a diet soda. But in general, it's one of the weakest of the list. Don't worry, though, fellas, there's going to be another one joining it in D tier. I have to agree that Diet Dew is not as good as other flavors and frankly isn't as good as Diet Coke either because we all know that is the most elite diet soda. Well, I don't know about that, but it's a discussion for another day. This next one is a spicy soda, and that is the Mountain Dew Hot Cheetos collab. This was surprisingly not awful like I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it added a nice little kick to the soda and did not taste like utter garbage. And as for a novelty soda, I think it was neat. Hell no, fuck this drink. I almost died from the spice. It was literally like someone mixed pepper and soda together. The carbonation plus the peppery sensation almost killed my ass. That's why it's going in C tier, Donnie. Don't you worry. I wouldn't drink a whole case of these, but if they're there, I would definitely drink them. Then after that, we have another A tier, and that is Mountain Dew Frostbite. This is a nice flavor overall, and I like it a lot, but just not enough for S tier. Joey, I don't know. That shit is pretty good. What could you possibly be reserving for S tier? That is easy as hell, Barack. Much like with my Pop-Tart list, I'm only reserving two flavors for S tier. And the easiest S tier of my life right now is this next one, and that is Mountain Dew Baja Blast. This shit is so freaking good, I would go to Taco Bell just to get this flavor. Like, Taco Bell Baja Blast is simply elite. And then we have it alongside some chalupas. Jesus, I'm going to cream myself at the thought of it. Now you're straight spitting, Joey. Baja Blast is legitimately one of the best Mountain Dew flavors, and I refuse to hear anyone else say otherwise. Woke up feeling dangerous, didn't you, Joey? You know the Joe dog got that dog in him, of course. Then I have to put the ginger snapped flavor at D tier. This might be one of the worst Mountain Dew flavors to have come out in a while. Anyone who has ever tasted this knows that you would be better off chugging battery acid off of Lizzo's ass crack than ever drinking one of these. Jesus, the Lizzo jokes are back. I thought we were done with them. Only I make the Lizzo jokes, Joey. What the hell? I'll make a better analogy. Drinking ginger snapped Mountain Dew is like having Lizzo throw up in a blender and then mixing it with some dying person's stomach bile and then savoring every second of the sewage smoothie. Thanks for the tag team, Donnie. Anyways, up next, we got both Baja Gold and Legend going in B tier. Baja Gold just isn't as good as normal Baja Blast, in my honest opinion. And Legend is good, but it pisses me off that it's only available in Buffalo Wild Wings. Like, who the hell goes to Buffalo Wild Wings when they could go to Wingstop instead? Wingstop is way better than B-dubs if you're going to get wings. I can agree with that. It's all the same shit, guys. We have to remember to rate the soda and not the food, you freaking troglodytes. Sorry, Dad. And next up, we have Mountain Dew Spark going straight to A tier. I am building up suspense for that next S tier. But yeah, I have Mountain Dew Spark in A because it is one of my personal favorites and is relatively new. So I got to let it marinate a bit and truly let it earn the higher ranking if it ever reaches that. 
On God, you have to let that shit ferment for a while before we decide on moving it up. But out of the newer Dew flavors, this is a good one. Now, you guys may have been expecting this, but I have Mountain Dew Code Red going in S tier simply because it is the best year round flavor. Like, you can never go wrong with Code Red, and it is definitely up there with Baja Blast. I don't know if I agree with that. I tend to prefer the newer flavors more just because I get sick of having so much Code Red. No one is telling you to drink that every day you mouth breather. It is elite, and I refuse to hear otherwise. Then to top off the list, I am putting Voltage in A tier as well. It's good, but again, not as good as Code Red. I want to get topped off right now. Like on gas or something? This fucking guy. Hey everyone, it's your favorite president here, Barry Barack Obama. I am joined by Joey and Donald on our soda tier list right here, and I'm sure we're gonna have a great time. Barack, I am obviously their favorite president, but anyways, what do you mean we're gonna have a great time? Don't you mean we're gonna have a blast? Oh, I get it, it's because Barack loves to blow. Yes, Joey, we all get it. Haha, <laughs> what a funny and original joke, Donald. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this list started. And up first, we got seven up. How are we feeling about this gang of Lang? Heads up 7-Up is an elite game, so I think this should be maybe above mid. Joey, we're talking about soda, you idiot. But yeah, I'd say B tier would be perfect for it because it's one of the better citrus sodas, but not amazing. Like, I wouldn't send someone to an internment camp if they handed this to me instead of my tried and true Mountain Dew or Sprite. Yeah, I'm feeling that Donnie, a solid B tier for this would be good. Moving on, we got Bang's Root Beer, but we're going to pretend it's a mug root beer. I personally have that going into A tier. Like you can never go wrong with some root beer because it always bangs. Ooh, that and cream soda goes hard, can't even lie. Joe, you are so old, you may as well crumble into dust. Cream soda, was that the only thing they had in the prehistoric times and that's why you twerk for that? Donald, you will make Joe angry. And trust me, you wouldn't like Joe when he's angry. Don't talk in third person, Joe. It freaks me out and makes me think you're up to no good. Anyways, we got another solid entry, and that is Canada Dry Ginger Ale. That is super solid, and I think the diet version of that drink is legit. One of the best diet drinks. I hate that it has Canada in the front, but I must agree it is elite. Not as elite as this upcoming drink we have here. Now, Barry, how are you going to do this? Because the list is based on overall flavor, and even though Diet Cokes are quite literally the best diet soda ever made, we all know it isn't much when compared to the real thing, but I believe we still got to give it credit. Still can't believe they let him put a Diet Coke button in the White House, but they refused to put an ice cream button for me. Joey ice cream is probably messier to transport to the Oval Office. And God, the stains it would get from you dropping ice cream would piss me off. But yeah, Donald, I am with you, don't worry. I think it deserves merit for being one of the best diets. And we'll place it into C tier. It isn't as good as normal Coke, but for a diet drink, it is indeed elite. Huge W for you, Barack. I'll gift you some explosives for this massive W you gave everyone. Hilarious, really funny guys. Please do more jokes anyways. Up next, we got Sierra Mist, and this is straight garbage. So bad, in fact, that they completely ditched their old name and rebranded to Starry, and no one still cares. Just for taking L after L, I have to place them in D tier for how bad they handled the whole brand and the flavor is whatever. I would rather have so many other drinks, like it's so forgettable, and I feel like that's worse than being bad. While we're speaking of bad drinks, let's go ahead and knock out Diet Pepsi from this list, and I am putting it in C tier. It is worse than Diet Coke, but still pretty good for a diet drink can't even lie. I honestly can't tell the difference between Diet Pepsi and Coke, if I'm being honest. Oh my God, Joe, it is so obvious, but of course some smooth brain rock chewer like yourself wouldn't be able to tell. Now let's settle down because I have a pretty controversial take coming up and that it's the fact I'm putting Dr. Pepper in C tier. It is pretty mid and I feel like people say you either like Dr. Pepper or you don't and I don't hate it or love it. It's kind of just there and I would rather have most other sodas but I'll drink it if it's there. I can't say the same for Pineapple Fanta because that is indeed a banger and belongs in A tier. I don't get the Dr. Pepper hate to be honest. It's a good drink and should go in B for bussin'. Ignore him, Barack. I also applaud the W move in putting Pineapple Fanta up in A tier. I'm assuming you're putting Grape Fanta up there with your fascination with grape flavored things. Uh, I never said I loved grape flavored things and I actually have that going into B tier now that you mention. What exactly made you think that I of all people would love grape? Ooh, you're gonna get a spanking now, Donnie. 
Why, uh, I just, you see, I just really love grape flavored things and I assumed you and me had similar taste buds. Nothing involving what you looked like made me think you liked grape flavored things. Never said it was because of how I looked like Jesus Donald. Ignoring that, I have orange Fanta going into A tier as it is a classic Fanta flavored that I believe all enjoy. Up next, however, we have our first S tier and that is Mountain Dew. All three of us love it so much we made a freaking tier list revolving around the different flavors of Mountain Dew. Everyone should go watch that it was a banger video and we refuse to listen to any of the Code Red hate. The tier list is absolute and is the best Mountain Dew one ever made. I wish I can take a shower in Mountain Dew and leave myself all sticky and yummy. What the hell is wrong with you? Let's just move on and go to our next entry, which is Coke. And let's all be honest, you all know where this is going and it is a straight up S tier soda, no ifs, ands, or buts. The only one I can see everyone questioning me on is this next one as I am putting Pepsi in S tier as well. I am a Pepsi believer and I genuinely like both Coke and Pepsi. I don't know why people like to create this divide. You know what, Barry, I'm a Coke diehard, but I'll admit it. When the function has no Coca-Cola, I ask for a Pepsi instead. They're both really good in my opinion, unless we talk about the diet versions. I like Pepsi more, to be honest. I like how blue the can is. I don't know why you would even care about the color but I am glad Donald is in agreement with me. Up next, I am putting Sunkist in A tier. I feel like every time I have Sunkist soda, I am never disappointed. It's always enjoyable and I can't really complain about it. Now, what about this next one, Barry? I swear Sprite belongs in S tier and that's not even talking about McDonald's Sprite because that shit hits different. It may even be the best soda in the world if it came strictly from McDonald's. Don't worry, Donnie, I got Sprite going into S tier, and if McDonald's Sprite were in this, I'd have that going in God tier. McDonald's Sprite hits me like a truck. I swear they somehow carbonate that way more than it should be, and it makes my throat hurt and my eyes water so much when I swallow it, but I take it nice and good down my throat. Yo, what the hell? Pause. What is up, gang? We are back with our weekly tier list, but this time we're bringing you a fruit juice tier list. I'd like to add that Joey was fighting for his life trying to include his favorite juice, which was, of course, freaking prune juice. I can't help it. It's the only thing that helps me go to the bathrooms nowadays. Yikes, Joey. You can get fiber in other ways. You don't have to resort to drinking only prune juice. Let's go ahead and get this list started before Joe starts talking about his bowel movements more. I was just about to tell you why prune juice gives me the best consistency in my poops, but fine, you're the one missing out. No, Joey, I don't think I am. Fine, the audience is missing out, but whatever. To start this whole list off, we got the iconic Appy Juicy. That belongs in an immediate A for Apple, in my humble opinion. I like apples a lot. If you like them so much, you probably wouldn't have fiber problems, you dementia-ridden panty wad. Listen, man, I don't think apple juice helps with constipation. Trust me, I would know. Up next, we got cranberry juice going into C tier. This shit is too freaking sour, but I love the juice when it's mixed with other juices. I can get down with that. The cranberry mixed drinks are bomb, and I also prefer them over just pure cranberry. On God, and of course you'd say it's bomb anyways, I then got Hawaiian Punch going into C tier. This is red 40 in liquid form, and I kind of mess with it. I am not even gonna lie to anyone. I will say though, that blue Hawaiian Punch is better, and you all can fight me in the Joe Dome about it. The hell is the Joe Dome? The dome where Joe goes to fight and Hulk smash those who defy him. Like, if I hear any people tell me this next juice is their favorite, then we're gonna have some problems. Literally, I don't think anyone likes grapefruit juice. Like, that is pure, like, bitterness going into your mouth. Okay, this kind of contradicts the fruit tier list, because I remember we placed that higher, but anyways. What if someone put sugar in it to lighten up the bitterness of the grapefruit? You know, I've never thought of that. Well, then it would probably be pretty good, but for now it belongs in D tier. Not at all like our first S tier, which is going to be coconut juice water. This is like straight up the nectar of the gods. I can drink this at any single time of day. This is legit the best type of water juice I have ever had in my life. If I had the choice to either get rid of coconut water or my son Hunter. Well, let's just say I will miss him while I sip out of my coconut juice. Let's be honest, Joey, you would not miss him. But I hate having to agree with you on that coconut juice slash water is elite as hell. If you keep this up and put grape juice high, I'm gonna have to actually compliment you for once. Also, sorry for taking your Thunderberry. I know how much you like grape juice. Uh, I never once told you that I loved grape juice. Dude, I just assumed from the fruit tier list, of course. God, you were about to non-consensually grape me there. 
Wait, what, Donald, you can't say that. What I can't say, you almost graped me. You're a grapist with the amount of love you show grapes. It's just fruit talk. Joey, please help. Yeah, I like grape juice too, but I have to be honest, fellas. Both grapes for me are a solid B tier. I am not a huge grapist. They aren't like the best, but I enjoy a glass of grape juice from time to time. Unlike our American classic up next, which is good old fashioned lemonade, and I have this going into S tier, I feel like there is never a bad time for lemonade, and when you can't have any of that, the second best thing is the fruit right next to it. Some good ass limeade is almost as good, and some even prefer it. But I have limeade going into A tier as it falls below lemonade, in my opinion. You got me fucked up on the grape one, but lemonade is amazing. Pair that with another fruit too, and it becomes even more elite. Get some lemonade mango drinks or lemonade strawberry, and ooh, that is good. On God Donald, speaking of mango, I then have mango juice also going into A tier. It is solid, and I really like it, but I feel like our top two entries are better, but I may be tripping. I definitely feel like you are Joey, but I will personally let it slide since A tier is still pretty high. Thanks, Barry. I love getting the pass from a brother. Anyways, I then have the original morning fruit juice at S tier. A good glass of orange juice is something I'd kill for. Joey, I'm not used to you taking these many dubs. Just like how I'm sure your skin wasn't used to the amount of orange juice that you were ingesting, so it had to adjust and make you look like an Oompa Loompa. Joey, you are fucking dead next time I see you, you sleepy little shit. Yeah, yeah, Donnie, sure, back onto the list. I then got pineapple juice going into A tier. I sometimes drink this so much that my mouth hurts. That doesn't sound healthy probably hurts from all the amount of sucking he does. Donald, I don't use straws, so I can't be sucking you silly goose. I then have pomegranate going into B tier. If pomegranate juice was fused with cranberry, I'd have that fusion up in S tier, I can't even lie, but alone, both are pretty good. Then I have our next S tier, which is strawberry juice. I can drink it alone or combine it with almost any fruit here. Banger with the strawberry choice here, Joey. Thanks, and now we can wrap this list up and I will be putting tomato juice into S tier. No way, dude, you're not putting freaking tomato juice into S tier. That belongs in F and you know it. He has got to be trolling. Joey, quit trying to be different. You know, you never had tomato juice in your life. You two don't know my life. What if I love tomato juice? Put it in F tier right now, Joey. Fine, I will, but I'm serious, guys. What if I like tomato juice by itself, like just the pure tomato juices? Then you should off yourself. What is going on, gang? Your favorite presidential trio is back, but this time we're going to be grading Gatorade flavors and seeing as how I am the most athletic of the group, I'd say I'm the most qualified to make this list because I constantly drink Gatorade. Joe, you are definitely not the most athletic person here. I doubt you'd be able to beat Donald in a race, even though he's as big as Lizzo. Why the hell did I catch that stray? And weren't you the one that kept saying we shouldn't do Lizzo jokes? Yeah, but she's canceled now and was fat shaming other people. Imagine how fat you gotta be to have Lizzo call you out on your weight. Probably some huge chungus of a person. Okay, but none of that matters because I am making the freaking list because I drink the most Gatorade. You know what, I will give you that because I know for a fact you only drink Dasani water. And when that isn't around you, exclusively drink Gatorade. I already know your pee is darker than amber. The harsh yellow in my pee is my power level and I wear that with pride. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this list started because I'm getting a bit tired. Up first, we got Fruit Punch Gatorade, and this one is like basic, but it's a very good basic. No one has ever rejected Fruit Punch Gatorade. It's a solid A tier for me because it's not the best, but I believe it is universally liked. Sleepy Joe, what if someone doesn't like that flavor? It's not too crazy to say someone doesn't like Fruit Punch. How the hell does someone not like Fruit Punch? Like, I'd get it not being your favorite, but that shit just tastes like fruit. Like it doesn't even have a real flavor because it's a bunch of fruits mixed together. The literal flavor is fruit. You cannot hate fruit. Okay, he actually spat there. I can't even lie. I always be spitting. Anyways, up next we got citrus cooler and this is pretty decent. I don't think it's as loved as fruit punch, but it deserves a solid B tier if I'm being honest. Then we go back to A tier with the Arctic Blitz and I just want to ask this question. What the hell is Arctic Blitz supposed to taste like? I can tell you one thing though, the Gatorade company nailed it with that flavor. I may not know what it's supposed to taste like or what flavor it is, but if you drink an Arctic Blitz when it's cold as hell, you get exactly what they mean. Like, I don't know how else to explain it, but it's an amazing A tier for me. Joe, you're spitting, so don't worry. Having these cold is a game changer. I really like this flavor, but not as much as the Glacier Freeze, if I'm being honest. 
Dude, we will get to that, but we have to talk about what I honestly think is one of the most overhated flavors, and that's orange. I still don't think it's better than anything we have on the list. And whenever you tell a motherfucker you got orange Gatorade, they look at you kind of funny. And for that, I will have to put it into C tier, but it's not that bad. It's me, Joey. I am the motherfucker who will give you the meanest stare down if you try handing me an orange Gatorade. I think I'd rather just drink water at that point. Yeah, Joe lost me with that one. I think he only likes it because it resembles the color of his piss. Okay, it does look like my piss, but that's aside from the point. Moving on, we got our first S tier, and that is the Fierce Strawberry. God damn, is this shit good. I love strawberries, so that probably plays to my bias, but I think it is one of the best Gatorade flavors to exist. And you know what? I'm going to carry the momentum from that selection and say something that might trigger some folks. I think the lime cucumber flavor we got coming up is a solid B tier, and I'm tired of pretending that it isn't. It's a solid flavor, and sure, I won't have a whole fridge full of these, but every now and then, the lime cucumber combo hits me harder than Hunter hits his bong. I cannot agree with you on this one, Joe. You must have some tamale in you because the only people I see enjoying the lime cucumber are the illegals. They beg me for the stuff once they're done with the lawn work. I can't help it. Must be the hardworking bone in me that loves that cucumber lime. Up next, we got Glacier Freeze, and it's like the evolution on Arctic Blitz. Unless I got those two mixed up, but I swear one of these is better than the other, but they both slap. I'm pretty sure I got it in the right order, though, and I am placing Glacier Freeze into S tier. Joey, you're supposed to know we literally bought you every single flavor and made you do a taste test so that you would have the most accurate rankings. Dude, what the hell? Go easy on him, Barack. It's hard to remember when you're his age, and on top of that, he's got the dementia to worry about. Thanks, Donald. I always knew you had my back. I wouldn't really say that counts as having your back, but whatever, move on to the next entry for us, Joe Dog. Okay, so up next, we got Glacier Cherry, and it's another great entry in the Glacier series. I do wonder how the heck they made it white slash gray when it's supposed to be a cherry flavor. That genuinely bamboozles me, but whatever. I won't complain as long as my mouth is filled with that white, yummy goodness. I am placing this into A tier. Man, I bet you're a huge fan of having that white liquid in your mouth, Joe. You betcha. Unfortunately, same cannot be said for our next entry, Fierce Green Apple. I don't vibe with it all that much, but it's a solid flavor. I'd personally place it in B tier. And my opinion is kind of the same for the Fierce Grape flavor because I like that slightly less, and I think I'll have it joining the orange flavor because I am not that big of a fan of grape. Sorry, Barack. You hear that, Barack? You better get it back in blood. Your homeboy grape is getting dissed by this nursing home patient. Dude, what the hell are you on? You're all so lucky I actually love the hell out of grapes. Yes, we all remember the freaking fruit tier list. Please let me finish because we have two final flavors. And up next, we got the lemon lime Gatorade. It can get a bit sour, but I enjoy the flavor and have it going into A tier. Up next, though, we have the best freaking Gatorade flavor to even exist. I still don't know what blue is supposed to taste like, but I swear that this flavor tastes just like blue. I have the cool blue Gatorade going into an easy S tier. What the hell is up with Gatorade making flavors that have weird names? We got cool blue, glacier freeze, arctic blitz. Like, what the hell is next? Me personally, I hope we get a female discharge flavor. What the fuck? What is up, gang? We are back with another tier list, and we've been getting comments to do a shake tier list. So I decided to get the gang around and go ahead and start another ranking. I am the ice cream expert, so I think this extends to shakes as well. Well, shakes have ice cream in them, so I would say that you are the most qualified based on that. But if we were counting the amount of calories someone eats a day, well, Donald has you beat by a mile. Barry, shut the hell up. I told you that I am on a bulk. When I finally cut, I'll be so freaking shredded. Only thing you're cutting is some more snacks open. Anyways, let's start this list off and we have a pumpkin shake. Now, I like pumpkin pie, but if you hand me a whole ass shake dedicated to the flavor of pumpkin, you and me are going to have some problems. I like pumpkins, but they should not be in shake form. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel like it is simply way too much pumpkin to go through in one sitting. Like, imagine slurping on pumpkin flavored sweetness for like five minutes straight. And if you get a super thick shake, it's basically game over. I will be placing this into C tier because I guess no shake can be truly awful. But goddamn pumpkin shakes are not the best thing you can get. Joe, you exaggerate so much. People love pumpkin a lot, and Starbucks makes a killing off pumpkin spice lattes. This is why I know more about business than you. 
Yeah, they sell pumpkin spice lattes. It has a hint of pumpkin. It's not the entire thing like a shake would be. Anyways, continuing my hater rampage, I am putting mint shakes. So a shamrock shake from McDonald's, or as I like to call them, shamcock shakes, right into D tier. Joe, hold your ass down. I get hating those things, but I for one enjoy shamrock shakes, and you have to realize a lot of people in general love those shakes. The comments ate you alive last time you talked badly about shamrock shakes. God, fine. I'll put it into B tier since I guess I can skip brushing my teeth and just have a shamrock shake instead, but I won't be happy about placing it that high. You have to at least let me place this next one into C tier then. I don't even know what the hell it is, so sure. Go ahead and place it into C tier. Barry, I am so surprised you don't know what it is. There's a banana right there. It's your favorite thing to suck on and eat. On God, Donald, we do not be fucking with the bananas. I will confidently place a banana shake into C tier and have no qualms about it. Up next, though, we got our very first S tier, a classic shake, really, and that is the pure chocolate shake. I love this thing, and I genuinely believe it is extremely hard to mess up a chocolate shake. If you somehow find a way to mess that up, then you have a talent for screwing up everything in life. The simplicity behind this flavor and the deliciousness is what boosts this into an S tier. And this is an extremely uncommon Joe W, but I will let it slide and allow you to spit. On God, I be spitting guys. Sometimes it's saliva, and sometimes it's the truth. But anyways, up next we got a peanut butter shake, and this is a pretty good one. If you love peanut butter, and I have loved it ever since someone taught me a cool trick involving peanut butter and a dog. Ever since then, I have loved it, and a shake version of it is absolutely delicious. And I will confidently be placing this into an easy A tier for this list. What the hell did you say in that first part, Joe? That I love peanut butter? I don't know what's so weird about that. You know, a lot of people love peanut butter Barack. Joe, that is not what you said, but you know what? I'm too scared to talk further about what you did with that peanut butter. Please just go on to the next shake. Uh, I was planning on doing that anyways. This next shake is my personal favorite, and I have the cookies and cream shake going straight into S tier as well, because who doesn't like this? It's basically an Oreo shake, and I love Oreos so much. I get the double stuffed Oreos and make a quadruple stuffed Oreo by taking two apart and putting them together. I love that creamy white stuff so much. I bet you're a huge fan of that white stuff going inside. Do you swallow all of it, Joey? Well, of course I swallow it all. How else am I supposed to eat it? You acting kind of strange, slime. Anyways, we got yet another S tier coming up, and that is the strawberry shake. I freaking love strawberries, and I can drink them in juice, eat them fresh, eat them in ice cream form, and I will also devour it in shake form. I think this was an easy one to grade because of how fire strawberries are. Well said, Joey. As a fellow strawberry lover, I am proud to stand by your statement. Even more proud you did not say any weird stuff during all of that. Thanks, Barry. I try really hard to not be myself sometimes. Well, to wrap up this list, we got vanilla flavored shakes. Now, this is a tough one for me because I love the hell out of vanilla ice cream, but vanilla shakes are just a bit too much vanilla, if that makes sense. It's the same as the pumpkin reasoning, except I can handle more of the vanilla. Is it because it's so good and creamy, all that yummy white vanilla going inside of you and on your lip? Donald, sometimes you weird me out by how freaking accurate you are. Yeah, it's thick and creamy, and I love it inside of me, but not too much. So in total, I will be giving it an A tier. Are we even freaking talking about vanilla shakes anymore? No. no. Gang Alang, what is up? Your presidential trio is back once again with another tier list. This time we are going to be ranking different flavors Kool-Aid packets. Now, alongside the Cheetos that I had in prison, I also had a copious amount of Kool-Aid with them, so it's safe to say that I'm an expert. Again, we've been over this, and you were there for only like 20 minutes at best, so I can't imagine you drank that much Kool-Aid. Oh, but I did. I just had people serving me different flavors until I found the right one that suited the Don's taste buds. Well, uh, did you find the right one that suited your taste buds? Well, no shit, Joe. That's why I said I was going to make the list. Enough of this time wasting. Let's go ahead and get started with the list. Up first, we got the berry cherry Kool-Aid flavor. And I know that we all share the opinion that artificial cherry is terrible. Like the absolute worst thing. This flavor, however, it bangs. I think I have to place berry cherry into A tier because it's got the right stuff going on. Like the other berries are nullifying the acidness from the cherry flavor and might actually work together well with it. And for that alone, it deserves to go that high. Oh man, that's some praise from you, Donald. 
especially about a cherry flavor, but if I were to guess, I'm going to assume the same doesn't apply for black cherry Kool-Aid, right? And you'd be right in guessing that because I have black cherry Kool-Aid going straight into C tier. Now, no Kool-Aid is terrible, but I would say that the black cherry was my least favorite one of them all. Thankfully, though, we got like a good ass flavor up next, and that is the blue raspberry lemonade flavor. I have this going straight into S tier. I honestly think I'm just a fan of blue products. I get blue ices, I get blue Gatorade, and I get blue Kool-Aid. I'm a blue sort of guy. I freaking love the flavor blue. I think I'll eat or drink anything that's blue. Whoa, whoa, hold on, Joe. What the hell is the flavor blue? Also, what can you possibly be eating that is blue? Like, seriously, honest to God, I cannot think of a food that comes in the natural color of blue. Well, I sometimes boil my hot dogs in blue Gatorade, and it gives them this yummy tinge of blue that you can see and taste. That is so freaking gross, man. Like, I don't think we can even explain it to you. He is too far gone. Let's just keep going. And up next, we got normal cherry. I think everyone knows my opinion on that, so no need to talk or explain why I have it at C tier. Now, this next is for all my brothers out there. I will be placing grape Kool-Aid up there in A tier. I'm so happy to represent all my brothers who are also known as grape lovers. This one goes out to Barack and Kanye West. Why are you changing your manner of speaking? Why call them brothers? Why not brothers? Why did you also only seem to mention a certain demographic of people? Uh, well, you see, I know you love grapes and I have lots of conversations with Mr. West. Lovely man, and he tells me he loves grapes. Yeah, I have nothing more to add to that. Uh, let's just move on to lemonade and I like it a lot. But let's be honest, it is basic as hell if you get lemonade flavored Kool-Aid. I am placing it at B tier just because of how basic it is. B for basic, if you will. Like at least get the lemon lime flavored Kool-Aid or blue raspberry lemonade because it adds more oomph and quite honestly is just better than the plain old lemonade flavor. And since we are talking about how good lemon lime is, I guess for that reason, I will be placing it into A tier. That's a pretty good take, Donald. I usually try to avoid pure lemons because I remember one time I had lemon heads in the White House and I was choking and no one wanted to give me the Heimlich. Um, I don't know if they were purposely ignoring me or if they wanted me to die. Pretty sure everyone in the White House is instructed on how to give the Heimlich, but I also don't blame them for ignoring you. They probably just felt like you could have handled it. Anyways, up next we got the Mixed Berry Kool-Aid. This is an absolute slapper and goes straight into A tier. It has a lot of things that I like, uh, berries and strawberries. Ooh, and it's the color blue, so, you know, I gotta give it points for that. Points for just being the color blue? Wow, that's dumb. But I will agree that it slaps, so I can't even hate you for that. Dumb to uncultured people, but as a blue believer, I don't think it is. Anyways, up next, we got orange-flavored Kool-Aid, and all I have to say is that it is mid, still better than the cherry flavors, though, so I will be placing it into B tier. The same cannot be said about the peach mango flavor. God damn, is this shit a masterpiece. Like, I love mangoes as they are, but then the combination with the peach. God, it's just marvelous. I'll write poems about how good this is. Damn, is it that good? I always thought that mango flavored things would be kind of mid. So I never really went out of my way to try that flavor. Just like how you don't go out of your way to do or help anyone in this country, Joe, because you're too busy boiling hot dogs and Gatorade. But as I said yesterday, you called me handsome, so you get a pass. Anyways, up next, shit, we might have a bit of a problem. What is it? Have you not tried these flavors before? No, the problem is I have tried all of these and these next three all slap. Like, I don't think you understand the magnitude of how hard these slaps. These three are all amazing. Strawberry Kool-Aid absolutely belongs in S tier no matter what. I am a diehard strawberry enthusiast. Anything strawberry flavored always seems to bang. Then next we got strawberry kiwi, and that is yet another classic flavor, which is a big banger. The big bang, if you will, that just has to belong in S tier. And then lastly, we got tropical punch Kool-Aid. This is also an S tier, like there's no way around it. We just got hit with the super team of Kool-Aid flavors. Nothing can stop them. Well, I don't know about that. Um, you see, after I boil the hot dogs and Gatorade, I drink the leftover liquid and I feel like the hot dog meat adds this extra layer of oomph needed to make blue Gatorade truly elite. And if you all would give it a try, I think- Shut, Shut up, up Joe. Joe. What is up, gang? We are back with another tier list and we are all so happy to bring you this Arizona tier list. We constantly drink these because, well, who can beat that 99 cent price tag and they're just delicious. 
it's probably because of all the sugar that they have. Like, have you guys ever looked at the amount of sugar that these things have? And people drink more than one of these a day. No shit, Joe, but that's why you also get their diet drinks. They may have the best diet flavors in the goddamn game. I will forever love their green tea flavor and their diet Arnold Palmer is basically my drinking water for the weekend. That sounds super unhealthy, but it's not my life. So let's just ignore that and get started with this wonderful list. Up first, we got the Arizona Lemon Flavor Iced Tea, and their iced teas are absolute bangers. I love all, if not most, of their stuff, and they do honestly have the best diet drinks in the game. But yeah, I think I will place this drink at a solid A tier. I really do like this flavor. Now, this is a banger. I agree wholeheartedly with this selection, and I would even go as far to say is that this is a genius level placement. Well, let's relax now. It's just a list. He's not running the country or anything, so he doesn't deserve to be called a genius. Relax, Joe. No need to get so jealous. Up next, we got the fruit punch drink. And yet again, I will be placing this into A tier. It's a really freaking solid flavor, and I think the biggest problem with this list will be choosing the bad flavors. Like any Arizona drinker knows that most of what they put out are pure bangers. They just taste so good, and I don't have a lot, or actually, I don't really have any bad things to say sometimes. I guess that's valid. Um but I can come up with a lot of bad things. Like guys, can we talk about the amount of sugar? Well, yeah, we know that. We already discussed that, Joe. Plus, you can't even say anything because you've said that you love Arizona's yourself. Like, I'm pretty sure you said this yesterday. Why do you even think we're making this list if we all didn't like drinking them? Well, uh, I, I just thought you were thinking out of the box. Dude, you were drinking in Arizona when I told you this. Whatever. Let's keep moving forward, and the Golden Bear Strawberry Lemonade is a bop. And I have this going into A tier, oh snap. I also see this next flavor, and I can't even lie to you. I have the Grape Aid Arizona going into S tier. We have too many bangers on board, and then this masterpiece of a flavor comes by. Well, it doesn't surprise me to see that you would put the grape flavor up there. Maybe it's genetics or something. And I, uh, of course, mean that your relatives must like it, and your close family must like grapes as well. And, uh... Shit. See what Donald means is we all assume you like grape flavored things because you're a big fan of fruit. You two are testing me today. But yeah, I love grape flavored stuff. It's okay though, because I also recognize the greatness in the other flavors. We yet again have another S tier, and that is the green tea flavor. It is amazing and a classic Arizona flavor. They even have a cucumber version of this, and that one slaps too. I'd still prefer the OG, but it's nice to switch it up. And I can't talk about the best flavors without mentioning the classic and favorite. The Arnold Palmer is going up into S tier as well. I don't think I need to explain why I have this so high because this shit is a slapper. Anyone who has had Arizona knows it is banging. Okay, so no hate or anything, but how the hell do we have back to back to back S tier placements? Like no way you actually think they're all the same level, Barry. But I fucking do. And you know what? The kiwi strawberry coming up next is also a certified banger that belongs in S tier. You are trolling me right now. You have to at least put grape down in A or even B. Joe, let's not touch that grape situation or we will get canceled. I, for one, enjoy this placement and think Barack has done a splendid job. Hmm. I'm not entirely buying it, but I'll let it slide. I still genuinely do believe that all those flavors at S tier are certified bangers. Arizona is just such a great company that it's hard to choose or rank flavors low, except for Mucho Mango, which I have in B tier. Dude, you are making me angry. Now let me be clear. There is a perfectly reasonable and sensible reason as to why I do not like it that much. It's because I have had so much of it and I am sick of it. Okay, Barack, that's kind of a fuck-ass situation. How are you gonna blame Mucho Mango for your inability to swap flavors or even drink another thing? I don't know. Like how I did just now, I guess. Either way, I have the peach iced tea and raspberry iced tea also going into B tier. I like them, but I'd rather have green tea or an Arnold Palmer. They're pretty good though, and I would recommend the audience still try them over the Mucho Mango. That's a bit excessive, but whatever, man. It's your list, so go ahead and hate on mango, I guess. Thanks, Donald. Following up all of that, I have the watermelon flavor going into A tier. He is trolling right now. It's a good flavor, but how is it above the other three? Ah, Jesus. What the hell? Well, you made him power screech and then leave. You done broke, Joe. You happy about that? 
A little bit actually, yeah. He always does that to us, so it was nice to dish it back to him. So you actually don't think those flavors are that low on the ranking? God, no. I love mucho mango and peach iced tea. The raspberry can stay in B, though. Like, I still like it, but A, I would actually rather have the other teas. Actually, wait. I think I wouldn't have their sweet tea over that, and I will be placing that into B tier. Barry, you're really losing your touch with the list, man. How is there no C or D tier? Dude, Arizona fucking slaps. I don't think I'd put more than two flavors under an A tier, in all honesty. Except for this herbal tonic, actually. I've never had it, but the can looks unappetizing. Like I would not go in a store and look at it and go, ooh, this looks great. I'd leave that right where it was, but I'll still place it in C tier. Could have gone D tier for that one at least. I mean, look at that yellow ass can. Looks gross. And you could have placed Jalapeno Cheetos higher, but you didn't on your tier list. Jesus, man, you're still hung up over that? What is up, gang? We are back with another tier list, and this time we're doing one that we have been asked to do for quite some time, and that is the energy drink tier list. We have tested many and have had all the ones on this list, and I can confidently say that this is the definitive energy drink tier list. Well, we can't say that. What if someone just likes different things than us, Donald? We have to be nice and accept everyone's opinions. Joe, stop trying to play the middleman. That's my job. If they don't like it, they can argue about it in the comments. Yeah, Joe, this is no democracy. This is a Trump-ruled list through and through. Well enough yapping. Let's go ahead and start this amazing list. And up first, we have Ghost Energy. I think most people who have had Ghost knows it bangs. It used to be my pre-workout, and I absolutely love the Sour Patch Kids flavor and the Warheads one. Donald, let's be honest here. You never use this for pre-workout unless you were exercising your gaming fingers. But yeah, anyways, I personally was more of a fan of the Swedish Fish one, but those are all really good selections, Donald. Don't try to hide that stutter, Barry. You've been hanging out with Sleepy Joe too much, but yeah, that's exactly why I have it going into A tier. There's a lot of variety, and it's just a great tasting drink overall. Up next, we got C4 Energy, and this is pretty mid. I don't really hate it, but I don't really love it either. It is a good substitute if you don't have anything else, and it won't taste bad either. I, however, would prefer the things above it, but hey, a B tier isn't bad at all. I personally like it if things are mid, it keeps it grounded. Like I'll be eating plain pasta with just oil on it. That's just weird, man, but this is slightly better than mid. I'd still take it over our next entry, which is a classic, and that is Red Bull. Now, you might be wondering to yourself, how the hell is this a classic but not better than C4? And I'll tell you, it simply just tastes like ass, hot, fresh ass if we're being specific. It is a flavor you can get used to and begin to enjoy, but when you compare it with other things on this list, it just isn't up to snuff. The energy boost you get from a Red Bull is good, though, so if you have nothing else to use or really need that huge pick-me-up, well, then Red Bull is your safest bet, and I would not judge you for choosing this. Now, given all the info, I will now be placing Red Bull into C tier, which, again, not really that bad, but still doable. I feel like that's a reasonable take like, are there a lot of people that genuinely enjoy the taste of Red Bull? Like, if you ask me, I'd much rather have the drink up next because monster fucking slaps. Don't go jumping ahead of the list. Wait till I get to it so I can give an opinion. Jesus Christ, Barry. How many of these have we done and you and Joey still do this shit? Well, anyways, up next we do in fact have Monster, the classic drink you'd see in every caffeine enjoyer's hand and for good reason. Monster has a variety of flavors. And I feel like it was the first energy drink to teach us the lesson that caffeinated drinks don't have to taste like hot, wet ass. I think for taste, energy boost, and legacy reasons, I will be placing Monster into S tier. I feel like it's too much of a legend to be placed any lower than that. I remember drinking Monsters before my speeches way back when Barry was in office, and to this day it still bangs. But I think I got too used to it now because I'm still sleepy after drinking a couple. Well, Joey, just keep drinking more and more till you have the inevitable heart attack, because that would truly be the greatest thing you've done for our country. Burn aside, we should move along this list. And up next, we got Mountain Dew Energy. And I think this is pretty decent. It's like a decent to high B tier. And now that I look at the next entry, I have to say the same about Bang Energy. I used to like Bangs, but they kind of fell off for me personally. Then there was all that super creatine nonsense. Like, I still don't know what the hell super creatine is. Okay, cool, but can we move on to the best energy drink ever? I love Prime so much, and I can't wait for Logan Paul to knock out Dylan Dennis in the fight on October. 
Joe, I do not care enough about that whole situation, but please take Logan Paul's cock out of your mouth. I personally hate Prime, but only the Gatorade clone of it. That one tastes like garbage, but I will give you this small W, Joe. The energy drink version of it absolutely slaps, but it is most certainly not the best in my honest opinion. I think a solid A tier is good for Prime. I would prefer it over everything in this list, but Monster, I think. So I'll give the Logan Paul crew a dub for their energy drink, but two thumbs down for the Gatorade one. I thought both were okay in all honesty, but I think Joey can live with an A rating, right? Uh, I guess that's okay, but I am telling you all that Prime will take over the world and will be the best energy drink in the world. And their Gatorade clone is better because they have cool flavors. Joe, you are not 12. Please grow up, but let's just move on to our last drink, which is Rockstar. I am going to keep it a buck with everyone here. I hate Rockstar. It is possibly the worst energy drink I have ever had in my whole life, and I will be placing this into D tier. I had it a long time ago, so maybe it got better, but I will keep my hater energy from back then and refuse to ever buy this horrid drink ever again. It tastes like a used cum rag that's been drenched in gasoline. How would you even know what a used cum rag drenched in gasoline even tastes like? No, 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 trust me. He hit it on the head with this one. But to me personally, that flavor sounds like a good time. What is going on, gang? It is your supreme leader back at it again with another tier list. And this time around, we are doing a sports drink tier list, which I am obviously the most qualified for. I will be grading these on their thirst quenching power, their design, their flavors and taste. But most importantly, I will be grading them based on how well they can help with my hangovers. Well, that's not really the best purpose for this tier list, considering that these drinks just help hydrate you and replenish lost electrolytes. Yeah, well, I am in desperate need of that whenever I'm out late hanging out with Hunter and partying like the madman he is. I need a super drink if I'm supposed to recover from his alcohol and coke-fueled parties. Dude, what the heck? He never invites me to those. How did you get in? I already have told you dozens upon dozens of times, but your son prefers me as a father figure, and he has told me countless times that he wishes I were his real dad. Now I wish I could return the sentiment, but I straight up told him that it's very weird for a grown man to be telling me these things, but I like partying with him, so I let it slide from time to time. But enough of these weird familial issues you got going on in the Biden household, and let's talk about some drinks. Up first, we got the tried and true Gatorade. You can never go wrong with this drink, and really it's probably one of, if not the best drink on this list without a doubt. This is getting an S tier from me, and there should be no debate about it because they are bona fide in this and are the titans of the sports drink industry. My favorite flavor is definitely the blue Gatorade, but if you all want to hear more about that, you can check out our Gatorade tier list. W plug for our video, Donald. And yeah, I always find myself gravitating towards Gatorade first and foremost whenever I need a drink like that. I'll have them when I'm sick, hungover, or actually tired and thirsty from playing sports. So you admit that you use these for whenever you're hungover, but you chose to get upset at me for saying it. I said that I was upset that it was a part of the rankings, you buffoon. Now, can we all settle down and get along? It's just a fun little tier list, and we all know that we should only use them after we have had a heavy day of exercising. Shut the hell up, Joe. Don't go telling me what to do, but I will go ahead and continue because I see some atrocity up next, and that is the Sam's Club default sports drink. This is like opening a case in a video game and receiving the most basic common skin in the whole thing. These things don't even have a name. They're just labeled as sports drink. I have to give this a C tier, and if I saw someone pull up with these, I would immediately call them out for even thinking anyone would want these. Do they really taste that awful? Oh, well, uh, they don't uh, actually taste that awful. Like, they're actually kind of decent. But what will the girls think when they see me sipping out of the Sam's Club default skin sports drink instead of a Gatorade? I seriously doubt any single soul would care about what another person is drinking. Oh, but you would be surprised, Barack. You would be shocked at what people have to say. But anyways, up next, we got a D tier, and that is Gatorade's version of Pedialyte. This shit stinks and tastes god awful. Like, I get that it is supposed to taste awful, but Jesus, man, I would rather drink taint sweat than ever subject myself to that abhorrent drink. Someone handed me this the other day, and I saw the Gatorade logo, and that shit lulled me into a false sense of security. I felt like I was a little kid who just got dropped off at a sex offender's house by his parents and was told he had to stay there the whole week like that is raps. It's open season. That's just how awful that thing was when it touched my taste buds. Oh, it is indeed raps if that were to happen. 
uh, not that I would know. You're not very subtle with these things. I hope you realize that, but I don't think anyone cares, which is the worst part of it all. Following that, we got Great Britain's national drink, and that is Prime. And let me tell you that these kids in the UK go absolutely batshit crazy for Prime is an understatement. Having a bottle of Prime would mean more to a kid in the UK than the Pope of the Catholic Church meeting Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the flesh. Like, there are levels to this that a normal human being cannot simply comprehend. And I'm trying my best to explain it to you all. But enough of that, because now we got to talk about the ranking. And quite honestly, I actually like Prime. I don't think it is as good as these people in the UK make it out to be. But I am a huge fan of the Glowberry and Ice Pop flavors. They are, however, loaded with sugars, but that's fine, I guess. And I am thinking that a solid A tier is needed for this pretty good drink. Pretty spot on with that. I am not going to lie. I enjoy Prime too, but it is definitely overhyped, but I still enjoy the two flavors you mentioned. I'll have some from Time, but ultimately I think I'd rather have a Gatorade or a Body Armor. I have to agree on the Body Armor take, but we're not there yet, so let me continue with my list. And when we get there, you can start sucking off Body Armor. Anyways, up next we got Powerade, and this is like Gatorade's little brother. Like everyone looks at this drink and they think it is sorry as hell. Still though, as much as I am hating on this drink, I don't think it's awful. And I actually kind of like it now that I think about it. I think I am just hating on it because it's funny. But this is a solid A tier in my books. So is that why you make fun of me? You hate on me constantly, but is it because everyone in the audience expects you to do it? But in reality, you actually think I am super cool and love being friends with me? Is it like that one episode of SpongeBob where Squidward secretly likes Krabby Patties but doesn't want to tell anyone because he's so shy and embarrassed. No, Joe, I genuinely have a certain level of disdain for you. Let's not talk about things that'll make me angry and instead let's talk about something that I really love and is very much so near and dear to my heart. Your kids? No, you idiot, I'm talking about the list still and I freaking love Liquid IV. I love this product so much and it literally hydrates you so quickly, like I can feel it almost instantly. And I have to give this product an S tier because of that. Like if you're drinking, I would heavily recommend taking these while you're drinking and you will have an amazing time. And even when you're playing sports, these will help quench whatever thirst you have. And I can assure you of that personally. Jesus, this is reading out like an ad read. You're not sponsored by them, are you? I freaking wish, man, that would mean unlimited liquid IV for me. And we all know I love that, but unfortunately I am just glazing like a motherfucker for fun. It's okay though, because up next we got body armor. And as Barack was saying earlier, this is indeed a pretty good product. Like I wouldn't say it's better than the top two in S tier, but it is definitely the best thing in where I'll place it, which is in A tier. I like the flavors they have a lot more than the other drink, and they are the official drink of Kobe Bryant. And man, oh man, that guy is a close friend of mine. May he rest in peace. I'll never forget the fall he took for me out in Colorado. He was really a lifesaver for that back then. Uh, what the hell are you talking about, your fall guy? Are you tied into that case in Colorado way back when? Uh, nothing at all. Let's talk about vitamin water, everyone. Oh man, I don't like vitamin water, but I do think it's better than that Sam's Club members mark default Fortnite skin ass drink. I'd rather pull up to the function with this vitamin water drink than with that off-brand Gatorade wannabe Sam's Club drink. But on its own, I really don't like vitamin water that much, but a solid B tier would be an okay placement for it, in my opinion. I don't think there are tons of vitamin water fans out there. And even if they are fans of the drink, they have to agree with this list. Like, no way they'd argue with me that vitamin water is better than Gatorade. You seem to be very passionate on signifying how mediocre vitamin water is. And as a fan of vitamin water, I choose to respect your opinion, but ultimately disagree with your verdict. Joey, you don't not speak like that. Stop trying to talk all smart and formal when we all know you huff glue and paint in your free time. Anyways, enough of Joe, because up next we got Propel Water, and I wasn't sure if I should include this on the list, but I decided to add it either way just to appease any person who is a fan of this water. I think it is another B tier in all honesty, like it isn't bad once again, much like vitamin water, but I will never go out of my way for Propel Water. Like, why wouldn't I just drink water instead? I don't know, but either way, that is simply where it goes. Okay, that's nice and all, but what the hell is that last drink? Oh, you've never heard of BioSteel? Neither have I before making this list, and that's why I'm placing this in C tier alongside the other unknown-ass sports drink, because these things were not made for human consumption. 
They were made for real-life NPCs and human bots that go out of their way to drink these instead of consuming what every other person drinks. See, a motherfucker like me goes against the grain and chooses to actively drink other things that not a lot of people drink. You know why? It's because I am different and I am not like all of you. I walk my own path in life and I am a trailblazer instead of a follower, which is the type of vibes you're giving me. Donald, big follower vibes. Shut the hell up, Joe. You don't know what you're even saying. You're an old dementia-ridden man who can barely remember what color his own underwear is. Jokes on you, they're all white except for the big brown stain near my ass. That's so vile, Joey. But you guys want to know what the coolest sports drink is? Now, I drink this every day no matter what, and quite honestly, it beats everything else in this list. It can be used to cure thirstiness, hangovers, you name it, and honestly, it will help. The magical drink I'm talking about is called water, everyone. Listen to this freaking guy talking about water. What is the point of sipping on water when I can simply get all the liquids I need in my day from Gatorade? And I will get some lost electrolytes. Come on, Barack, we all know the clear winner in this. On God, Donald, now you're spitting facts. Like, please tell me, Barack, why in the heck would I ever decide to drink normal water when I get my yummy, yummy vitamin water? Well, actually, unless it's yummy, yummy Dasani water, but aside from that, I would prefer not to because I like to see how yellow my pee can get before my doctors tells me to start drinking my water again. Okay, that was a bit much. I very much so don't agree with everything Joe says, but his heart is kind of in the right place. You two are both gross as hell and will eventually get diabetes. You two do realize that? Joke's on you, I already do.